Well, helping our active duty veterans and military spouses build their own businesses, that's what the Rosie Network does. And they're now celebrating their Entrepreneur Awards. This morning, we have one of the winners and Rosie Network's Leona Sublet joining us and the winner of the Trailblazer of the Year Award, Erica Beal. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Morning. It's great to see you both. Erica, congratulations on your recent win. Uh, I want to start with Leona first. We'll talk about your business in a moment, Erica. But Leona, how does the Rosie Network help veterans and military spouses? I mean, what are you guys working day in and day out trying to do? Well, really at the core of our mission are um, exactly that, our military entrepreneurs who are military spouses, veterans, and transitioning service members who are looking to launch or grow their business uh, here in San Diego and beyond. So we um, have no cost services and programs that um, they are engaged in. Um, our premier program is Service to CEO, which is a 17 week program where they learn everything about launching and growing a business, um, depending on where they're at uh, in, in starting. But we're really the accountability partner that is there every step of the way with them, providing resources, um, introductions, you name it. And then at the pinnacle of that is our awards, which uh, we just hosted as part of Small Business Week uh, for veterans uh, last week. And of course, Erica is one of our Yay. wonderful military <laughs> entrepreneurs. And Leona, I wanna say, you know, I had the pleasure of emceeing this a few years ago, and it was so special yeah. to be there, to see how happy everyone was, to be a part of the Rosie Network. And what I really stood out to me was how so many military families, you move so much, it's hard to establish yourself in a career, right? You So having your own business uh, is a yeah. huge way to continue that wherever you end up living. And that's a big part of that, right? Absolutely. And, and actually, Erica, that was one of uh, the main reasons why she won is she is, in fact, a trailblazer herself in helping to continue to provide support to those who um, are creating these, these portable uh, businesses, but at the same time, um, looking for employment opportunities for them. And she can explain that in detail uh, because that's so important to these families is meeting those needs um, and, and those really specific career needs of these families. So, okay, Erica, Trailblazer of the Year, your turn. Tell us what is Aviv, your new business? What do you guys do? Yeah, well, thank you. First of all, Rosie Network, um, it has been a beautiful partnership and I always say any business entrepreneur never gets there alone. There's a team of us that help each other that have blazed the path forward. And uh, Rosie Network is really setting up these great programs. Um, but here at Aviv, um, we're a professional services engineering firm. So we work very closely with the utility sector market. And what we're doing is we are really transparent about our approach. Um, we've created a very strong program of social responsibility called Impact Now. Okay. And what we do is we identify transitioning veterans, uh, military spouses, um, active, active people in the, the community that are looking to get out and support the military and reservists. And we are giving them jobs as they're transitioning wow. out. Um, as they're coming into the workforce, we want to get them mentors. We want to get them trained. Um, we're investing in their career so that when it's time and ready, they can stay here locally in San Diego and have a fantastic <laughs> career supporting the utility sector market. I see. Um, and we're really proud about that. It started off with just one person, and now it's kind of led on to a company-wide initiative. Um, we have about 45 employees, and okay. half of our employees are either veterans, military spouses, or reservists. That's huge. And we're really, really proud of that. When did you start, Erica? So we've been in business now for almost two and a half years. Okay. Um, I actually came from the utility sector and worked right there in San Diego Gas and Electric, and um, I myself am a military spouse. Okay. I've been a spouse, military spouse, for 20 years. My husband is still active duty serving, so uh, today is a very special day. Thank yeah. you to my husband, Jeremy Beal. Um, <laughs> he is a Navy SEAL, and um, I have to tell you, I witnessed firsthand um, just how many sacrifices military spouse make in our community and how strong and resilient the spouse community is. So when I left um, to start this business, I left with a very strong passion and commitment to give back to this community. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's an honor serving them, I have to say. Um, 
We are very conscientious what we're doing, but it's about changing lives positively and helping the heroes and the sheroes and the ones that help this community. So I'm just so honored to be able to do what I love, right? Yeah. And, and who I am. That's amazing, Erica, so beautifully said. And yes, thank you to your Navy SEAL husband, Jeremy, uh, for all his service, still active duty. But you know, Erica, if you could explain to us, did you guys move around a lot? I mean, how hard was it to be able to get that job and work for SDG and E? I, I have to be transparent. I mean, being married to any service member yeah. is, um, it's just a very, it takes a very special person right. and it's, um, it's a commitment. Um, and when you're married to special forces, whatever that special force is, wow. I mean, you are, you are really saying I am going to be almost at times that single point of contact. Um, I will say in the tenure that he has been as an active duty still, um, he's been involved for almost 23 years. And part of that, we've been through nine combat deployments. And wow. even though he, our family didn't get up and move, he was constantly moving. Right. And we decided to make a decision to stay anchored in San Diego. Um, I tell people this, but you know, I meet him, we get married and out of 365 days, I was given a gift as a calendar. And they're like, mark the number of days your husband's gonna be home. Oh. And I marked him at the end of the year, I had him 50 days. 50. And that, be that wow. became our world. Um, wow. with Don so even though they were on deployment or training, there's so much you go through. And going through the years that, and participating in that and living a life, I mean, we have a family here mm -hmm. and the commitments that this veteran community makes for our country. I mean, it's just, um, they're very special people. Right. It's just right. a very special community. and. When I thought about how much skills and tenacity goes into these people and gosh, how great they could be in the workforce, I thought, what a perfect fit right. here. And what a great sector in the utility and energy market because it's secure, it's stable, there's good jobs. And it was a natural transition and fit to mm -hmm. be able to find the solution and give deployments and, you know, these these job opportunities mm -hmm. to veterans and military spouses. Uh, Erica, thanks for putting it into perspective. 50 days out of a whole year to see your husband. My goodness. Uh, Leona, you know this all too well with the Rosie Network. You have helped so many people like Erica, so many businesses. Tell us how many and how long the Rosie Network has been operating. Well, uh, timing is everything. We are actually getting ready to celebrate our 10th year of service. Our 10th anniversary is coming up. Um, and we were founded right here in San Diego by yet another Navy SEAL spouse, Stephanie Brown, who in fact was a trailblazer as well. One of the first to support military spouse entrepreneurs in, in particular. And to date, we have served over 7,500 military, we call them military family entrepreneurs, military family, small businesses um, in San Diego and beyond Amazing. nationwide. We actually are in 33 states now <laughs> and we serve um, those abroad in three countries as well Thank outside of so the US. Much. So we are just so proud Bravo. of the efforts, but we can't do it alone. Like right. Erica said, we all work together as partners uh, to make and um, their success a reality for them, whatever that success looks like for their family. Oh, so thank you we're really so much, a family Leona oriented and um, nonprofit. And of course, you know, we um, can't do it alone, not without our, our very generous supporters um, here in San Diego and beyond. Of course, all right. Thank you so much, The Rosie Network. You can look them up for more information. We'll have them on our website at cbs8.com as well. Good to see you both. Happy Veterans Day.